Now, it's not all 30 sensors like I promised, but let me explain. So this is a more or less a do-it-yourself kind of series. I give you guides throughout the 30 days on how to wire and code everything. Obviously, since they're not even 40 pins to use for all these different sensors and stuff, and all of these sensors take up multiple pins, this is something you would build with this kind of GPIO expansion board like this one I found on Amazon. The fact that I don't have this, and I don't have the world's largest collection of wires, resistors, and IC chips, which I wish I had, but I don't, to control these different sensors, it just makes it, well, impossible for me to build to this scale. So I just dumbed it down to really show off the concept of this idea so that maybe one day you can decide to buy this expansion board, which will be linked in the comments and description, so you can build it yourself and share how you build it. Because I can't show the whole wiring process, I'll still leave detailed instructions on how to wire every single sensor I promised in this series on a single page on GitHub, which will be in the description and comments. With that mostly out of the way, I'll show you what I have so far. To give you a better understanding of this concept, I have sensors like the MPU6050 and then the ultrasonic sensor, the RFID sensor, which will have their information displayed on the I2C LCD 1602 module. Most of everything else will be displayed on the Raspberry Pi display. When we go ahead and boot up our Raspberry Pi, I created this app which has all these different buttons for all the different sensors in this series with pictures as the buttons. So when you click on the picture, or well, button, it will activate that specific sensor. Sensors like the I2C LCD won't have a button due to it only turning on when the sensor has data to display onto it, like the FPU6050. It is designed to work with all the sensors when they are all connected. So when I press some of the other buttons, obviously nothing happens because they're all not connected. If you follow all the instructions linked on my GitHub page in the comments and description and run the code as instructed, it should all work properly, but it might not. So if you have any issues, just leave a comment and I'll see if I can fix it. Obviously, you'll need plenty of wires, resistors, and multiple breadboards, all of which, well, I don't have. I'll also leave a link to buy one of these Raphael kits for Raspberry Pi, which is what I use to make this series. I'll also leave any other links to any other sensors I use that were not part of this kit. I want to finish this series off strong with a thank you for everyone that subscribed. We not only reached our first 100 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for small channels like my, like my channel, but we reached over 150, well, in fact, over 160. As of editing this video, we are sitting at 162 subscribers. I want to see how fast we can get to 200 subscribers. That will be a huge milestone. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and comment your favorite part about this series. As well as let me know what you guys think I should make a series on next. Thank you all for the support and thank you for watching the series. And comment any questions you have in the, in the comments. Thanks for watching.